Nadia JK and today I'm going to tell you guys my birthing story. I had my baby boy four days ago. Oh my gosh, I still feel like I look pregnant in the face. Like when does that go down? <laughs> like, well my boobs are huge because they're filled with milk, but um this is a long emotional story for me. Um yeah, so like I said, I delivered my baby boy. He uh, was delivered at 637 and weighed 4 pounds, 8 ounces. He was born with... Why am I starting to cry? Like, this is so weird, y'all. Like, I've been having a good, like, two days without crying. Um, he, My boobs look huge. That's... <laughs> I gotta pump in a little bit um he was born with a bilateral cleft lip so um his mouth is open on both sides and his lip is joined his gum and lip are joined with his nose kind of if i if that's how you, if i could explain it in a way um this happens to one out of every 800 children and it happened to my baby he um was i had him early i had him three weeks early in these clips and in these stories i will show you guys clips of like actually what i am going what i actually went through because unexpectedly we didn't know he was gonna uh have this birth defect and he did and of course like i told you guys i was gonna like be filming my um i filmed my pregnancy journey and i also was gonna be filming me at the hospital so all the footage and my reaction of how i took everything is on footage and i decided to share a lot of you guys reached out and congratulating me some of you guys don't know that i actually have i've had the baby and some of y'all know um if you're friends with Derek maybe or your family that I had the baby um but a lot of you guys reached out and were congratulating us or just um asking how we've been um and this is how we've been we've been doing really well uh my baby is not here with me he is still in the NICU he won't be able to come home until he is able to eat on his own um so that is where we're at right now but every day he makes progress and every day he is growing so soon he will be home and you guys will be able to see him i can't wait for him to get here to me for me to like really hug him and love him and all of those things in the NICU as you guys know i had a covid baby so everything is very strict with sanitizing your hands and all the time um sterilizing your phones i can't even have like my phone out like it has to be in a plastic bag at all times so that's why sometimes in the videos you see like blurriness and like like i'm shooting stuff from an android because my phone is in a sanitized bag um we're not we have to wear a mask the whole time and we're not really a, we're not actually we're not allowed to take them off even to kiss our children um but of course you know like moms and stuff you sneak kisses in as much as you can and um you're um it's just a lot of different things you have to go through right now only me or Derek can go see him um it's not like we can go in the room okay he goes see him and then Derek comes out and then I go in um for 24 hours it can only be the same visitor and they only allow two visitors so of course it's his mom and his dad visiting him so that is where we're at right now every day like i said he makes progress and we're getting better and he's getting better and um i'm missing him more but yeah that's just like where we're at so i guess i will start off with my birth story july 31st was a friday i went to my doctor appointment it was my second doctor's appointment of the week because on wednesday my primary doctor's appointment my blood pressure was high again and it was high uh my the last week checkup but it wasn't as high but when i went uh that wednesday they seen that it was rising 
consistently like getting higher each time so they scheduled me for another 24 hour visit and for a 24 hour p test so i had to basically collect a gallon i had like a half a gallon of urine and take it to them to be tested for preeclampsia um so the next 24 hours i went in i was not expecting for my blood pressure to be as high as it was or for me to have to deliver my baby i was expecting to maybe deliver him a week early not almost a month early um so after i went in they took my blood pressure and my doctor came in and told me that i needed to go to the hospital so i could be induced because my blood pressure was way too high and that i most likely have preeclampsia back from um the test that i completed so i went to i went outside and i called my mama and started crying because i did not want to have him this early you guys i'm on my way home i just left my OBGYN and i'm having a baby today my blood pressure was way too high again um my doctor's appointment was wednesday my blood pressure was too high and today is still too high so they're gonna induce me and i've been crying because i did not want to have him early it just frustrates me i have stuff to do like i have stuff to do and now oh my gosh it just frustrates me and i'm literally telling mama like i didn't even get to clean my house i was gonna do that this weekend but Nisi is on her way to me to help me hopefully um and i'm gonna give her the keys to my place she'll i know she will probably her and naya help like straighten up the house i didn't want to come home to like a messy house and all of his stuff is still like on i didn't even get to watch his newborn clothes because Nisi just got him some newborn clothes because i had bought everything else but really newborns uh so she got him those i didn't even wash those little things for him to wear like i didn't do none of that i was not prepared and it just frustrated me it frustrated me so i just called my mama and i was crying because i did not want to have him this early like i'm gonna get like emotional like with me i'm like the type to be prepared and to like have it all together y'all said the 18th that's what i was waiting on not 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 today like who does that who i didn't even come to y'all for that y'all was supposed to check one little thing y'all talking about all right go to the hospital have the baby like what are you talking about no i was supposed to be at work i was planning on going to the donut shop after i left and getting the cranberry juice that was that's what i was planning on not having a baby if I had too much stuff to do like I wasn't I had planned on it was my last day of work that day too I didn't go in yet because I had the appointment but I was not expecting um to have him so early so I was on the phone like frantically crying because I was not prepared to have him he had a bunch of his stuff still out. I kept a lot of things out so I could put it away every day that um I was on maternity leave, just getting the house prepared. So the house was a mess with baby crap everywhere. Um, and then I had a lot of stuff to do for my business. I had a lot of stuff to do for school. Um, I was still, I just finished my summer two class, but I was still in school and I was just not prepared to have a baby and come home with a newborn baby with crap all over the house still in school and still having to take care of things for like my business and things like that i was just i wasn't prepared um and i also had like a ton of orders that day and i'm like if i have a baby like who's gonna do this like i don't i can't I can't do this like this is where my mind was because I'm such a planner and I plan things so when things shift or go wrong I don't I don't handle it because I literally I handle things by planning that's like how I handle things um call Derek and I'm like babe they're make they're telling me I have to have the baby today 
and all like this and Derek's at work and he's out of town because of course like we're not expecting to have this baby today so um he's not able to take me like he's not near to pick me up really quickly so I had to call Nisi. I arrived at the hospital and later met Derek oh when I got to the hospital they made me shower first so I could be induced and uh, they checked my blood pressure again and it was super high. They also tested me for preeclampsia, which I did have. So I um, was having high blood pressure and preeclampsia. So they immediately started putting me on medicine so I wouldn't start to have seizures, which at this time I haven't even started to feel contractions. My body haven't broken or nothing. I haven't even got induced yet, but I'm on three different type of medicines. So I'm a little bit out of there at this point. Um, I just, I kind of remember things based on the videos looking back because Derek was recording. I remember telling him like weeks before, like make sure you record a lot of stuff so I can have great content to get to YouTube. But I was really out of there most of the time. So I don't remember a lot, but I remember like waking up and, um, people just like poking me that's what I remember and like me going back to sleep and waking up when people are like sticking me with things or doing this and that so finally they tell me okay we're gonna check you to be to see how soft your cervix is or whatever so you can be induced or whatever or maybe they already induced me and they were checking my cervix after like I said I don't remember um so then they started to check me, which was very, very painful. Um, after that, I remember going back to sleep and them waking me up to put a catheter in me. At this point, they're like, we don't want you standing up because of how high your blood pressure is and all the medication and you are at risk. So we will put a catheter in you so you won't have to stand up and there's no reason for you to go get up to even use the bathroom you can just pee and your pee will basically fill up in a bag so they did that which was very very painful um like even the drugs like i was that it didn't even help like I, that was one of the most painful things i've ever experienced and around at like four in the morning i felt like a bunch of wetness on me and I remember just yelling like telling Derek like babe babe I peed on myself like <laughs> that's what I was saying so Derek called my nurse and was like uh I think she went to the bathroom and then the nurse was like oh she can't use the bathroom like on herself she has a catheter in her so basically my water broke while I was in bed um uh, in bed sleep so I guess I went to sleep because I don't remember nothing after that. After them saying that, I guess I was like, oh, I ain't peeing myself? Cool. Like, I'm, I'm about to go back to sleep. So, uh, I went back to sleep and I remember just waking up every 15 minutes with, like, pain. Fortunately, that pain you're feeling is just the baby being real low. Go away. It will release it, okay? Which were contractions. So, I was, like, moaning really bad. And I remember Derek would just be, like jump up or like just start rubbing me basically like every time i'm on and i remember after i stop i'll just go to bed and then uh i remember saying like how long does it will it take i remember waking up because after so many of them i couldn't even go back to sleep and i remember asking my nurse like how long is it gonna take for him to come and she said it's just we're waiting on him to drop we're waiting on him to drop and then I remember crying and telling Derek, like, I can't do this all night. Because she she said, we're waiting on him to drop. It could, this is, remember y'all, it's Saturday, it's Saturday morning, basically. Um, we went to Friday night into Saturday morning. And she's like, he can come either um, Saturday evening or Sunday morning. And I remember crying. I'm like, babe, I can't do this till Sunday. Like, I can't feel this pain till Sunday. Like, I can't wait for him to drop till Sunday. Um, so, again, they wanted the process to be slow. They didn't want to rush anything because of my high, my high blood pressure and my preeclampsia. 
so I remember just crying like I can't do this and I remember after crying to him I just prayed like God I can't do this like I ain't I can't do this so this is when they finally gave me the epidural to epidural um to help with the pain and then after that he dropped low enough i think two hours later he dropped low enough after me crying and praying <laughs> he dropped low enough for me to start to push so when i'm pushing i don't remember i remember me pushing i remember not being able to feel it i remember being super tired and me telling my nurse like i have too many too much drugs in me and i can't i can't like even stay up like every time I would wake up, I would literally go right back to sleep. I remember not being able to stay up. And she told my doctor, I remember my doctor coming in to check on me, was like, are you, uh, like, um, why hasn't she started to, like, started practicing her pushes? That's what he said. And she said, oh, she said she's like, she feel too tired. Like she, she can't even, f uh, like be up. He was like, we're all tired. She has to push. We got to get this baby out of her. So they woke woke me up and um I told Derek to give me a wet towel so I could like wash my face. You know, like in the morning you wash your face to wake you up. Uh I told Derek to do that and it did not help at all. Like I would wipe my face and I would still be tired. And I had to practice my pushing and after that it was like I think an hour later, around six, it became six o'clock. Um it was time for me to start pushing so um i started to push and that took forever i remember pushing and then like going back to sleep like you push for you push for 10 seconds three times and after i did that i'll go back to sleep and then they'll tap me be like it's time to push because i couldn't feel my contractions um and then i'll just i'll be i remember going like this like, I don't even know if I was pushing, but I was doing this. <laughs> I was going with the motions, okay? So, they basically had to suction them out. I guess, like, Angel, I wasn't doing, I wasn't, I wasn't pushing, okay, that well. Like, I, she was encouraging me, like, you're doing so well. I don't know if I was doing well, okay? I was, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, they ended up having to suction him out. And, um, this is when, after they suctioned him out, a nurse, uh, before they actually got him all the way out, they asked him, they was like, do you ask Derek, do you want him to, um, do you want to cut the umbilical cord? So Derek steps away from me to cut the umbilical cord, and then I feel him come out all the way. At this <clears throat> moment, um the doctor one of the doctor or the nurses say um did they already talk to you about his um facial defect and i was like no and remember y'all like i have all this medicine in me and i'm like super tired and high and like in pain i just gave birth and i'm like no and he i i remember them not putting him on my chest um at all like he was just still over there and multiple people were walking away and the birth videos that i've seen in the past um they would lay the baby on you know their chest or whatever but doctors were just walking away and caring to him so at that point i started to cry because i'm like what are you talking about yeah well i can't see him you know what i'm saying derek's over there and he's just looking down is he okay Okay. Can you help the potion, please? They're gonna fix it. Four pounds, eight ounces. I'm sorry. He's four pounds. But, and then, like, my heart sinks because I'm like, okay. Like, I just started bawling because I'm scared and I'm like con constantly asking, like, is he okay? So, um,. Um, Derek cuts the umbilical cord and they finally bring him over to me 
and I'm like looking to see like what they're talking about and I see that he has a cleft lip. Um, right, well, let me move out the way. Look at this. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's gonna do you no good. Now you really get bleeding. Oh, well, well, I want to be so bad. Look at that. Never seen that. Okay. This will work for you. Slow the bit. A little bit. This will be okay. Great, thanks. <laughs> and I think like a minute passed and they take him from me which it felt like literally I held him for five seconds like I held him for five seconds maybe and they had to take him to the NICU so I'm trying to ask questions I'm like is he okay and they're like oh this is common this this happens all the time like this is an easy fix like that's what they're saying to me but like okay I feel like crap y'all just hit me with this and y'all just took my baby from me after holding him for like five seconds like in my head even a minute that's still crazy and then they say once you're able to walk you'll be able to see him and then I'm like, when can I walk? They're like, 24 hours. So now I'm just like, okay, I'm finna call my mama. Cause now, now I can't, now I can't. Okay, you're welcome. You can turn the lights down and stuff? No, this is No, it's gonna take longer. I don't want him to, to, be, to struggle or nothing like that. So after talking to my mom, I eventually called my dad um, after I'm able to get off like some of uh, the meds that was just making me tired. I called my dad and I just talked to him and I also call, um, well I also speak to Trey, my brother, and um, I just talked to them. Trey, I don't really have a footage and a Nia and Nisi, I mostly text them, but I don't have footage to talk to Trey. But um, after that, and in between this, I am talking to Derek. And at the end, like, y'all, he is so happy. Like, Derek is so happy. Like, his son is here. This is, like, not a problem, which I love him for. Um, but, of course, like, me and mommy mode. Like, I'm like, what? Like, is this? Like, I didn't know really nothing about it about what affected him i know it affects him it affects him eating and that's why he's not with us right now so that made me nervous that you know my baby couldn't be able to feed himself you know in that way uh with the bottle so that made me nervous but derek was great derek was throughout this whole thing was great um so after that and it, 24 hours have passed I am finally able to see him which I'm so excited and I also start my 
pumping journey my breast milk had not come in yet because like i said he was almost a month early so my breast milk hadn't uh really came in yet so i had to start the process from scratch by pumping just by stimulating my breast meaning i'm not pumping nothing it's just going through the motions Are you taking my mask No, no. We have to leave them on. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. And, Dad, I have to ask you to cover your nose. Yes, Sorry. I wish we didn't have to do that. He does good. He's doing wonderful, Mama. Yeah. And this is something that's going to get fixed. Okay, and babies, babies do well. It's just gonna take, you know, a few months. Yeah. Um. Tomorrow, Corey is here, and she's our specialist with developmental feedings and mm -hmm. stuff like that. She can really give you some really good information tomorrow. Okay. But he's been taking the bottle from me. Okay. Um. We kind of aim it over to the right side of his mouth, where okay. he's got a little bit more, you know, mm -hmm. that side's more intact. It's better, but it's just soft, they said. Yeah. yeah. He kind of just chews on it, but we have a special nipple mm -hmm. that Corey has. She came in special yesterday to evaluate him, and we're using a special nipple. He doesn't cry a lot. He, he'll, he'll like do a little squeal like he did. Yeah. Just, I don't know if he's just kind of squirming or something, then he'll quiet right down. He's, he's just been a little angel. Okay, you guys, here is an update on my breast milk. I did one milliliter more of, um, like, being basically sucked on by a baby. So, that's what I had to do for about two days of not seeing any results. And then I finally seen results little by little. And it made me so happy that I got to take, like, little pinches of breast milk <laughs> to him because, one, it was just me you know being able to do something for my baby because right now i really couldn't i couldn't do nothing for him while he was in there you know of course but be strong but you know what i'm saying but pumping that little stuff made me um happy to see him and you guys will see my progress each time of me pumping now you'll see in videos and stuff how my face is super swollen like i said i had preeclampsia and that my blood pressure was super high so my face was pretty swollen from all the medication and each day that i was there i was there at the hospital for three days um they weaned me off a medication one by one just being on basically bed rest relieved a lot of that uh blood pressure it was still high when i left but it was manageable basically what they told me um so you'll see like my face kind of going down and us getting prepared to leave you guys we are leaving the hospital i got my little breast milk again i pumped twice as much as more this morning this liquid gold um babe are you excited to leave yeah we're to go to the house in my bed yeah so she's on the couch well actually i invited him to my bed last night in my hair it still looks a mess but i braided it a little bit but we're gonna go see kai drop off this little breast milk tell him goodbye and then we are going home to call him that's okay he's gonna get better for us you want to say anything babe and hopefully it's not even a week that he has to stay yeah which is not not too worried about a week but you know it's still a week that he gotta be here but I mean they got good people looking looking out for mm -hmm. all the nurses great Yep. So, 
see you guys later so that is basically my birth story like i said it was emotional and you know maybe more sad times than good times but uh i'm thankful for it i wanted to share everything because like i said people were asking and i know like i brought you on my pregnancy journey and then i just stopped with everything um but yeah like i just decided to make a whole video i had all this footage well i definitely wanted to share you know and let people um know about you know what happened and things like that and the birth of my son my a beautiful son so yeah the birth of kai carter is here has came <laughs> and hopefully we'll see him he'll be here home next week maybe hopefully if my baby is eating consistently and he's doing good okay i want to see him today so and he's making progress like i said little by little so yeah you guys this is my birth story thank you guys for watching leave a comment like send it to a friend you know what i'm saying if you liked it for kai carter send this video to a friend how about we do that okay uh but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one hopefully the next time you see me sit right here it's with my baby with my baby hopefully um but yeah like i said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye